Good morning. So, the heat is on full blast, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm projecting my voice. Uh, or we could do that. So, it's snowing today, <laughs> and we were not prepared for that. Um, but today, I woke up on a whim and I said, I want to go look at some camper vans. So, I've been feeling this really, really strong. And usually, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Sure. Yeah. I don't want to see. I don't want to show any. Okay. So, usually, when I have a dream or something, I'm like, oh, one day, one day I'll do X, Y, and Z. One day it'll be, you know, the right time or whatever to do the thing. And um, I think I just want to get into the energy of like, let's feel the stuff that we want. Like, you know how, so I've talked about this before. When, okay. I want to make books. I want to write books. And I have, I have written books. And so sometimes I'll go into bookstores, like to buy books because I love books, but also because I want the feel of, um, oh, let me do this. Yay, that's better. Okay, because I want to, you know, imagine what it's gonna feel like to walk in the, in the bookstore and have my books in there, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, you know, people talk about manifestation and all this different stuff. I think that sometimes like to get in the right space or energy or whatever word you wanna use, the mindset to actually have the things you want sometimes require you to actually go out there and go touch it. <laughs> You know, imagine your life in it. Like, if you want a new home, go to an open house or something. Even with a house you can't afford. You know, that you can't imagine you can afford right now. You know what I mean? But still giving yourself permission, like, to dream that big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And by going, you never know what's going to pop up. Yeah. You don't know if, like, they got something on clearance for $5. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you never know. Like, that sounds crazy, but it's possible. It's a possibility. And so, um... So we're gonna make our way to Manassas, Virginia. It's about an hour away from where we are. And um, go down there just, just to touch it, just to touch touch the, uh, I want a camper van. So like it's like class B, so class B RVs. And um, yeah, and of course I have things popping up in my head like, oh, they're expensive. Why is it that whenever we say something, we think we say, oh, da 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 da, it's always oh. But, you know, I have thoughts that are like, it's too expensive, or where are you going to put it? What else? Um, whatever. <laughs> like, there's always some limiting beliefs or fear med meeting it, like, met with those thoughts. But I'm willing to, y'all ran. I hate when y'all, anyway, I hate when people don't obey traffic signals and laws. It's irritating. Because usually where you're going is not that serious, and you could harm somebody or kill somebody. Anyway. So, as we're about to run a red light. So, um, no, we're not going to. But the idea is that I want to get around what I want. Put myself in the room. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Let me walk in there like I got a million dollar check. That I'm ready to spend on whatever I want. Also, check out my hair. <laughs> it's flourishing. It's sticking up. And I love it. Progress. Progress. Because, mm -hmm. like, my little twists were, like, stuck to my head. But it's actually starting to grow. Put a little water in there and oil. It's cute. Um, it's chaotic in like the best way. I love it. So anyway, so that's what we're doing today. So we're gonna make our way there and I will come back when we get there to share what we find. And maybe I go and I hate it, <laughs> you know? But again, we have these dreams of stuff we never know that we, you know, if we like it or not because we're not willing to be brave enough to go try it. So, anywho, BRBs. Bye. Bye. All right. We've made it. I don't know if y'all can hear me. But we've made it to Camping World. Let me just show you. Yay. Yay. About to go look at some Class Bs. I see some in the front already. Um, I hope I made sense earlier. I hope what I said made sense. About just taking the leap of yeah. faith trying it out trying it on and acting as if right like mm -hmm. not going in there thinking about like oh well, i don't have the money i don't have we're not we're not worried about that mm -hmm. we are literally just taking the first step and allowing things to unfold mm -hmm. as they should mm -hmm. or as they will yeah. now i'm not saying don't have a plan or whatever i know if you feel like you want a plan or whatever that's fine mm -hmm. but i think sometimes we just discount ourselves thank you mom let's get tired i think sometimes we <laughs> we discount ourselves okay we discount ourselves before we can even give ourselves space to dream like as soon as we have a dream we cast it down and say that's stupid i don't have x y and z it's like you ain't even try it yeah. you ain't even go to see if you even like it mm -hmm. i might i might realize 
But I might do better traveling in our Prius yeah. versus the camper van. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, so, yeah, don't count yourself out. Mm -hmm. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, now let's go look at some um, Class B uh, RVs, which are basically camper vans. But um, mm -hmm. my mom told me <laughs> to look for some RVs for her, too. She wants, like, a Class C, like a 25-foot mm -hmm. RV. So we're going to see if they have any of that here, too. Yeah, she got something. They have to have something. Like the parking lot we were talking about is like overrun with like RVs. Like you can see behind us through the window. That's an RV for sale. Mm -hmm. And we're in the parking lot. And there's only like yeah. maybe 20 spaces in the parking lot. Yeah. But like hundreds of RVs. Camping like, world is also like the Walmart mm -hmm. of RV sales. Um, there. So they, they have a lot of them. And they carry a lot of them. And depending on trends and mm -hmm. how the market is going and stuff like that mm -hmm. sometimes they can have a lot yeah because nobody's buying nothing um, which is like take you know lower the price a little bit yeah but um we're not worried about the price right now mm -hmm. we're just here to have fun we're gonna feel it in our bodies mm -hmm. we're gonna act as if we got the coin again act as if we got a million dollars in the bank mm -hmm. that we were ready to swipe mm -hmm. and experience um no worries mm -hmm. just fun so let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can shut, bypass the hot water when you're taking a shower until it gets hot, and you okay. recycle the water until it's hot. Then you then you reroute it back to the shower. Oh wow. Okay. So let's say That's you turn cool. the shower on for the first time, and yeah. it's not hot. Yet. Yeah. I'm gonna be wasting that water. Yeah. You can bypass it back into the tank until yeah, it gets hot again. That is so cool. the, I've seen that. Um, so, but with more of an instant hot water heater, where you get a much quicker effect on your hot yeah. water, generally you're not going to see that that type of usage. Right. I mean, I guess it's, it's oh. kind of solved. Right. Right. Cool. So this is nice. So, what year is your Majestic? Uh, 2013. 2013. How many miles do you think is on it? Oof. Uh, Cause we put some on there. Yeah, it's close to what we have in our Prius. It's about 140. 140,000. Yeah, I think gotcha. so. Okay. Any leaks in it? I'm just curious. Uh, we are air conditioning sometimes, like if it rains. Right. Or a roof seal probably. Probably, is yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, these lights real quick. Yeah. But we added solar panels and. We all did. That stuff. Really? Yeah. We invested a lot in yeah. the RV. Because <laughs> we were living in it full time. Okay. Yeah. Because um, we got it. Pretty much we were living full time to 2019 and then COVID. COVID. Hit, gotcha. Kind of yeah. took us off the road. So. All right. So we're in the Class B. I really like this. This is priced at. We're not worried about price. But what I'm worried about is we're kind of tall. So. Jamal, can you stand up straight for me, please? Yeah. A little close, mm -hmm. but you could, you know, stand up, I guess, just yeah. don't jump or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> and it has a stove, mm -hmm. a sink, Oops. and a little fridge. Yes. That's the only thing, though. Turning around here is a little tight. This will be the tech. Can you stand in there because this is elevated? I doubt it. Oh, oh, baby, <laughs> you can't even turn around in there. It's yes. definitely just a wet bath. Yeah, it's get wet, clearly get smaller off. than um, our shower. Yeah. But in the know, RV. Yeah, the one in the RV, I can't even really. Hi. It just because it has that dome. I yeah. Can't kind of stand up oh, and, that's true. Yeah. Let me, let me see if I can fit. I do think it's interesting. I think it's. Oh. Okay. Is this your sink? Is that the sink? I guess so. And it empties into. Yeah, I guess so. Here. Oh, my head is hitting the ceiling too. Mm -hmm. Tall girls, tall girls out here. Um, I am interested to see the. So this is twenty feet. I do oh, like yeah. the pop up mm -hmm. a lot. Um, I do like the storage too. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of storage. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five of these. Six, seven of these, mm -hmm. and then this in here I'm sure you put your, your kitchen stuff yeah. spices and things yeah oh wow stuff this is deep uh 
What do you call it? Drawer space. Yeah, deep drawers. Yeah. Yeah, I think I could do it by myself. Yeah. Um, as far as visitors, though, that's the that's the part. If I was by myself, though, I probably would never pop up. Well, I might. Why? If I feel adventurous. True. Because I feel like I'd just be wanting. Because I'm you a black want woman solo. Yeah. yeah. I want to be. No. Yeah, safe. that makes sense. Yeah. Because up there, I think it's just like claw. Oh stuff, yeah, yeah so, like, of course. Yeah. But other than that. Yeah. This is really nice. I I will say though, I am five nine. Mm-hmm. And like turning around, mm -hmm. and my thighs—it's thighs, a little tight. It's a little tight. Just like if I and I have on a coat. Mm -hmm. Like if I was your, naked, I'm sure it'd be fine. In your purse and stuff. Yeah. 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 But, uh, I like it, so I do want to see that one. Yeah. On to the next. On to the next. There you go. All right, so we're in a diesel unit. This is a different one. Mm -hmm. It feels cozy, um, but they said that <laughs> because it's a diesel, it's 50 grand extra, and there's extra headspace which is cool. Um, I don't know how to turn the lights on, but hopefully you can see me. Oh. Yeah, to your mama. And it has similar storage. Yeah. yeah. It's basically the same. Yeah. Except a few different things. But just no top. Yeah. Just got the fan. And the fridge looks bigger though. Don't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, it's on. But yeah, small for each other. It might be a little bit smaller. Smaller than the other one? Yeah. Uh, like skinnier? Yeah. Okay. And I plan on having my air fryer and stuff like that too, so mm -hmm. I don't really plan on using a lot of microwave. Yeah. But yeah, it's nice. It's cozy. And I imagine it's turned into the bed. Oh yeah, this little thing? Yeah. yeah. With the bike rack. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, the search continues. Does this feel like it, baby? No, not to me, but yeah, you're searching for your energy no, in your I butt. Am. So I don't know if it feels. You don't have a like stove in here, though. <gasps> no stove. Oh, it's a definite now. I guess to cook. All right, let's go. <laughs> Five, new. So that's actually a steal. Yeah, it is. A, it is a good price on this wow. unit. So low miles and lots of light, which I like. In the really, front. just I like the floor plan on it. It's yeah. awesome. And then again, these fold flat and creates one huge bed in the middle. Wow. So, or you can, or you have, if you had to, if you yes. went camping or with some buddies, you, you could, could do you, one in one. You could sleep one in one. Yes. So, because you got to like each other, like I said, if you're going <laughs> to. Okay. If, <laughs> exactly. If you're going to put the beds together, yeah. We got to be friends. Yeah, I like that. And everything is almost like, uh, even like cooking smells and stuff like that. I know it's camping, but. Oh, thank you. Could you, it? Could you get the um? Got a lot of space. Yes. Backup camera on this, which is nice. Oh, oh yeah. nice. So you can even take a, you know, little week in the nature. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Cool. I love how this opens and like it feels soft. Yeah. Like now I have two other used ones here I'm going to show you. Okay. Let's do that. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Wait. It's nice. Oh. oh, it locks in place. Yeah, that's that should. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's deep. A lot of USB outlets on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. You've got a phone holder over there. Oh, <laughs> yes. Phone, yeah, exactly. Wow. No, this is nice. If I may. Yeah, it's very pristine. There's no odors in it, which is nice. Yeah. Wow. And you said uh, eleven, about eleven thousand. Eleven thousand uh, six forty-four, so under twelve thousand miles on yeah, this. Yeah, they really didn't go they anywhere. They just didn't use it much. Yeah. They babied it. Yeah. yeah. It was a couple that owned it, and they just weren't using it enough, so they yeah. decided they're, they're going to sell it. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. The seats are very comfortable, by the way. Yeah, they're, this is very more so cushioned than most class B's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit more uh, of an upscale class B's. Yeah, say, that's what luxury. it is. Yeah. yeah. Has that's a huge cool. awning on the outside, which is nice. Oh, nice. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. And it's an electronic awning that comes out. Oh, okay. Cool. We like that. It's a care. Most class B's have a manual awning that yeah. comes out. Okay. So. 
Yeah, we're used to yeah. <laughs> pulling it out. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Oh, you can just slam oh it. it's so. And it, was this one gas too, or is this? This is gas. This okay. is on a Ram uh, ProMaster 3500 chassis. Okay. So. Ooh. Yeah, unleaded regular gas. Good grief. And it came with the tires just like this? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, I mean, not even a scratch on the rims. Yeah. So they kept it very clean. Very clean. So they must have had big ideas and just yeah, didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, they had big ideas and they had a big budget. Yeah. yeah. This is probably in the 195 range, but just has 7,700 miles on it. Oh, wow. Wow. So, wow. 7,700? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. A lot of people, they're Ooh. local travelers. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. They probably go to their places. Yeah. It's a nice uh, county. I've had some people buy these just to go to travel soccer with their kids. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. So Must they're, be nice. They're at, the, they're at the soccer fields all day long. And they yeah, yeah. Okay. And his, sleep in it, yeah. Or sleep in it, yeah, for the next game. That yeah. makes sense. It's, it's nice. It is nice. Yeah. I don't know about diesel. Just for my... I think for the money, I like the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Vivid. Uh huh? This is an 18 footer, very small bed okay. in the back. Okay. But I'll show you any of those. But this is not other used one. You asked about used primarily. Yeah. This is a road track. This road track is an 18. It has 50, 54,000. It has like 54,000 miles on it. Okay. So it's, that's a few miles. This is actually in the $100,000 price range. Oh. Let's see if we can get in. <laughs> this should be in here. So we don't freeze it down. <laughs> something on this and yeah. it's like the AC, oh, it's, back there, yeah. the AC yeah. it's like they're replacing something in the AC unit oh, wow. yeah. yeah so but you can see the bed set up on this it has, it has this that traditional style oh, sofa yeah. that folds down to the back creates a big bed in the back okay yeah. yeah but for an 18 with this many miles on it I think I'd you wouldn't do it it's got too many miles on it oh no yeah it does for that it kind does. of money yeah that's fair no I appreciate that that is fair Okay, with that. I'd rather buy something that I, I'm going to keep it for the X number of years and when I try to sell it, as long as it's in it's really good shape that part. and has less miles on it. Yeah. Because you're going to probably own this for a couple of years and put yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20,000 miles probably on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Easily. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah I, yeah, I can see what you're saying. As far as... It's nice. It's, it is pretty nice. It's cozy. Oh, is this the fridge? Yeah, it looks like a. And all the seats effect. swivel, that opens up, a tap oh, pushes wow. up, yeah. All the seats oh, swivel yeah. in these Class Bs. Okay. And of course, that lever pulls up and then that opens up to your wet bath. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. This is a nice size uh, fridge. Yeah. It is fridge. a good size fridge, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but it has a. Um, Okay, it has a two burner here and a sink. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So this is your Dometic. This is your okay. sink. Yeah. Oh, this, yeah the faucet burn. comes up and that's your two burner stove okay. top there. Oh, that's cool. Safe space. Yeah. Micro. I do like a stove. I prefer a stove over a microwave. Mm -hmm. um, the storage. I'm going to sit in the front, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, it does. This is nice, though. The window. 
Yeah. The sunlight. That's a fuse panel up there. I see that. Yeah. Well, this is easy to get to. I think our fuse that was underneath the dinette or something. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it was a pain sometimes. <laughs> this is nice. the pipes and stuff you can access it. Is it storage too? <gasps> it is. That's cool. I didn't realize the seats had storage underneath. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, a lot of those seats in the back center yeah. is going to offer storage in the very back, but a lot oh. of those are access to plumbing and things. Oh, nice. Okay. That's cool. I didn't even know this one. Oh, like you're taking on the water. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to do this. It's probably just slides. Oh, slides out. Yeah. No, this is. Our gloves. Oh, this is nice. Little pantry there is nice. Yes. Yeah. I like to cook. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. That's dope. And you said this was this was a hundred thousand. This is a hundred thousand nine 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 is the price on it. So a hundred thousand nine nine nine. Of course they're going to fix the AC on it. Everything's going to work yeah. on it. But it has fifty fifty three. I'm going to double check the miles. Okay. And it's a 2018. 2018. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you like the size of that white one better or the size of the green like this? The um, the one we look over. I like. The, I think I like the size of this better. Yeah. 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 The only thing is the same as a 50, 50,000 miles. The J on the floor, okay. you have the ability to sleep with two up above. That. That's true, yes, that is this true. This is only going to sleep two people. Okay. Yeah, unexpected guest, four people in this. Really? Yeah, I mean, the one on the floor. Oh, I'm going to say, the one weird. on the floor. This yeah, only that's two. True. Okay. Yeah. That's true. Okay. So, those are the types of things I look at when I'm yeah. looking at these. No, that's a good thing to think about. Yeah. All right, so we just got back in. Shout out to Bob at Camping World and RV Sales in Manassas, Virginia. If you are ever nearby or want to look into purchasing an RV or whatever, check out Bob because he was very thorough, very helpful, and he was honest, which I appreciate. And he even uh, was telling us how to sell our RV yeah. for more money. So don't do a trade-in, but sell it on your own. Yeah. So I think that's what we're looking into is trading in our RV already for the class B that we're looking for yeah i mean i didn't i didn't know that was an option that's why i asked him about it earlier yeah um but this that should be done um but if it helps us to you know get rid of the rv and it can help towards yeah. the next thing then why not yeah the only thing is our rv would be upside down i guess or would put us i was saying in the upside down like i'm on a <laughs> What do you call it? Stranger Things. Yeah. But no, so like the upside down or the downside of it is that we would be upside down. Yeah. So what we owe on the RV is more than what they would trade it in for. Mm -hmm. um, but if you sell it on your own, it'll be worth more. And again, obviously, right, they're going to underprice you. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to underprice you on the trade in value of a car, which I've always known, but it's just more convenient to just yeah. get rid of it that way. Yeah. So they're, they're underselling you because they want profit. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? They don't want no yeah. merchandise. Yeah. They want actual, like, monies. Yeah. So, um, it's not that our RV is worth less. Yeah. It's just that in this market with the cars and stuff like that, yeah. they're under yeah. pricing it. Yeah, the house so. is always going to do whatever it can to win. The house. So it's the not, house always wins. It doesn't care yeah. about you. No. So, I'm not forcing anything. Like, I, I think before I'd be so, like, let's just do it, whatever. Mm -hmm. Be upside down. Um, and honestly, if, if I find the right RV, I might still be that way, but I think I'm more willing to trade it or sell it for what it's actually worth. Yeah, because I mean, in theory, so. that's technically what we do with our car that we have now. So, like, yeah. what was left over got traded. Yeah. yeah, it was added on to our new 
car payment or car note or whatever. Don't recommend. No. If you can't, right? No. Like, I mean, some people, it's like, I'm not doing all that work. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Um, but if you can sell on your own, yeah, it's best. Absolutely. All right. So now I'm going to look by and see if I see any other places. Bob was very helpful. Um, we looked at three units. So there was one on the inside. No, two on the inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, one out here that's very luxurious. Yeah. It was like hundred and sixty thousand dollars, and I'm like, this is very nice. Yeah. And I'm and I'm open to whatever, mm -hmm. but um, it almost was like too nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. very cushy, very yeah, yeah, shoulder shimmy. Yeah. Um, you know, and if that's your vibe, that's you. But I like mm -hmm. more like warm and mm -hmm. uh, like brighter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I want I want more sunlight more mm -hmm. than I want luxur lu luxurious like couches. Yeah. Cause I'm only going to be on those couches to sleep or, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Anyway. So, um, so the inside of the vibe of the thing has to feel good to me yeah, absolutely. because that's where I'm going to be. Absolutely. Um, the one inside was winter eyes, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but that pop-up thing, whenever you have extra moving parts, we've talked about this before yeah. on our RV channel, mm -hmm. but when you have extra moving parts, it's more room for something to break. Yes. Things getting stuck. Yeah. And if I'm out there by myself, I don't necessarily need all that. Right. Does it, do the doors work? Yeah. Do they lock? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and if I want to go outside, I can go outside. Yeah. But I, I do like the idea of the pop-up, though, mm -hmm. like because it's, oh, I can sleep in the woods, mm -hmm. in the forest, and hear nature, mm -hmm. and, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. yeah. be close to nature without having to be in nature, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but, yeah. But I don't know if I've, I don't know if any of these were, like, the one. That's okay. You, you know? Keep looking. But Bob said he'll reach out to us and show us more stuff when as they come. Yeah. But as far as like, oh, this like, this is it. I don't think that happened today, and okay. I think that's okay. Absolutely, you're just taking steps, like you yeah. said. You're just following that that unction. Yeah. And moving with it. So yeah. maybe it was just getting in contact with Bob. That part. Yeah. You know? And maybe it's also learning that you should sell your own RV yeah. and not trade yeah. it in. Yeah. And actually seeing in real time what we as tall people look like uh, <laughs> and yeah, feel like the, yeah because yeah. some of those are too like too yeah, they're, they're tight yeah but the other ones were like oh okay mm -hmm. like the last one we were in i was like this is spacious enough majority of the time if you wanted this would be something that you would use on a solo trip yes you know yeah so like the first different. one with the pop-up would have been nice as a solo. yeah kind of yeah. but even for me i would get annoyed of keeping brushing against things you know what i mean oh yeah yeah that'll get irritating really yeah. fast yeah the, the first one we did too was kind of it was a lot narrow yeah but i mean we we do have coats and you had your bag do, on yeah. and stuff like that but that's um, true still you know you want to find the comfortable space and for me at this point like i want you to feel the most comfortable i don't know how they're maneuvering this space i wish i could see this but it's just chaos yeah. anyway um we're gonna go see some other locations or just go home but overall i'm glad that we went and i, I feel good i feel like like even when he was mentioning prices or whatever, my first inclination was to be like a hundred and sixty thousand for this, you know what I mean? But I think I'm becoming a woman that's like, okay, whatever. Like, yeah. if it's meant for me, I'm gonna get the money and I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if it's meant for me, it's gonna happen. Hi, little puppy. Yeah. But like, I'm not about to. I'm also not about to force nothing either. Like, mm -hmm. if the math ain't math and if the numbers aren't there, mm -hmm. like if there's two, you know, I'm not gonna try to force it to happen. But I'm yeah. open to. Okay, so a hundred thousand dollars, girl. That's only a hundred of these. Yeah. I mean, a hundred of a hundred thousand of these. Yeah, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like when you break it down like that, like is it a lot of money? Absolutely, right? Yeah. Depending, it, I guess, depending on who. Yeah. Because if you're a millionaire, a hundred thousand, you're like. Psh. Yeah, it's all relative. It's all relative, mm -hmm. and so I believe that I have the things in me, and I'm connected to God, who is the ultimate source. Like, mm -hmm. what is a million dollars to mm -hmm. God? Mm -hmm. And so in my mind, I'm like, if God wants me to have it. Mm -hmm. God will make a way mm -hmm. for me to get it. Mm -hmm. So when he was talking about the price, I love that though. I was like, oh yes, luxury. Show me all like mm -hmm. all the expensive things. Yes, yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. Because like ultimately, I'm not trying to, even though I am trying to mind my money, mm -hmm. I'm also trying to mind my energy. How am I going to feel in this place? Like, yeah. yes, it, I can get it for $25, yeah. but am I going to be happy or yeah. miserable in yeah. here? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. And my peace, my good energy is worth, is, is, more. you know priceless yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. so mission accomplished do you like to hang on it what do they do mm -hmm. okay bye <laughs>